Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here at Son of Monster Palooza 2019. I just met Carl here once. Shamanic, yes. is that right? Yes, it is. And you make some really, really striking one-off custom pieces based on designer vinyl, I see, mm -hmm. some found pieces. Uh, this aesthetic, tell me about this aesthetic and how you make something like this incredible Trojan horse. All right, well, the art style is called assemblage art and uh, I kind of repurpose and, and I, I troll like uh, swap meets and, and you know like estate sales and other things like that and just kind of like breathe life into old things. It's a great outlet for, for, for me to kind of just put out messages and ideas out into the universe and you know maybe maybe it'll jive with people or not, I don't know. I mean something like this is super super striking. You're telling me like the base is in like an old frame mantle piece yeah. and that looks like a, a children's toy but then you really transform it combining organic with kind of like this old mechanical look, this old post-apocalyptic look. Yeah. What are some of these pieces here uh, that you find that work for the scale? Well, it's hard for me to say, but like the way I kind of uh, arrange it is just, I kind of try to build a story around it. And so the, this piece itself is called Trojan City. And so like, I like the idea of like how humans kind of like repurpose the, the ancient civilizations and just build upon it. So like the idea was that this horse existed and then a civilization used it to create a, a little a city behind it. And so, and like, I kind of do that with a lot of my things. Like, I just imagine there's all, like, a whole universe of different types of people that live there. And so, like, I used to paint. And so, like, I painted a bunch of, like, images of characters. And so I just was like, where do these characters live? So I just built, like, cities. And the cities is perfect for something like this. And you have a skull here that also has city components. It mm. looks like you're pulling almost like HO scale model train yes, buildings yeah. and, and towers and windows. And that then gives it the look of a city. Yeah, right? As yeah. the people would be super tiny and this would be a massive force mm -hmm. as opposed to the other way around. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. And then you have something like this. This I recognize there's like a, a dunny behind it, yes, right? Yeah. It's a kid robot designer vinyl blank. But then you're carving into it and throwing, it looks like, action figures in there. Yeah, yeah. You pull like things from like like a uh, uh, Gundam and other model kits. So like actually this this these pieces right here, these skeleton pieces are actually from a model kit for like anatomy model kits from like a dog, a canine uh, thing. And then also like the, the idea of it is uh it's a soul eater and then this character is actually like he he's like a I forgot what I called it but like he 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 protects he kills these guys and then like what happens is like the little the little uh, toys, he spits them out and then they're his minions. So I created a little story behind it because it didn't make sense. It's like if you're trying to build something, it's like you need that kind of like the, the history behind it. Like Absolutely. It's basically a, yeah, you start off with the approach. There's a character you have dreamed up in your head, and as you're putting together, as you're kit bashing, really, yeah, yeah, the character yeah. then reveals more of itself. It's like, okay, maybe I have something on the back that looks almost like a cape, but it's like wooden boards or something. Mm -hmm. And then you're tying it all together with these really beautiful paint jobs. Thank you. Wow. How long does it take, really, to, to put one of these together? Uh, really, the, the hard part is finding, finding the pieces, because, like, I just have stockpiles of things at my house and I was just like, well, what am I going to make today? So yeah. the story is what really kind of ties them all together. And it's like, with, without the story, it's just kind of like a hodgepodge of, of randomness. They're beautiful pieces. It's really striking stuff. It's kit bashing in a way that I really haven't seen before. Ass assemblage art? Yes, yes, yes. That's so cool, Carl. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise, thank you. And thanks for chatting with us. All right. Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here at one of my favorite events of the year. This is Son of Monster Palooza in Burbank, California. And companies like Immortal Masks bring some awesome products, but well, like these wearable silicone masks. They have incredible creatures. And we got to go behind the scenes with Immortal Masks where sculptor Andrew Freeman showed us the making of this mask. He sketched it out, sculpted in clay, and we documented the entire process in virtual reality for 180 VR. That's available to view now in our tested VR app in the Oculus Store to view in the Oculus Quest and Oculus Go. And it's so cool to see this mask now in the silicone flesh when it originated from that clay. We hope you enjoy it and check it out.